How did life on Earth begin? It's one of the greatest mysteries of science. Despite decades of research, we still don't have a definitive answer. But in this video, we'll explore some of the most popular theories about the origin of life and try to shed some light on this ancient mystery. Before we start, I would like you to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our videos. And if you are interested in a particular theory, make sure to look at the timestamps down on the video progress bar. Our story begins over 4 billion years ago when the Earth was a barren and lifeless rock hurtling through space. But somehow, over time, the first living organisms emerged and the rest is history. So how did it happen? Without life on our planet, Earth would resemble Mars. The development of humans did not occur at a specific moment in time, but rather happened gradually over millions of years, resulting in the body structure we have today. Before the Big Bang Theory, many people believed that life on Earth was created directly by some force, but it is now widely accepted that every living organism is the product of evolution. However, the question of how the first life began remains unanswered. Scientists have produced numerous theories on the subject, but we don't have a precise answer yet. This video will delve into some of the most important theories about the origin of life on Earth. So let's get started. One of the earliest and most famous theories is panspermia, also called cosmozoic or extraterrestrial theory, which was first introduced by Richer in 1865. Essentially, panspermia means seeds everywhere, suggesting that life on Earth may have originated from an asteroid impact. Since Earth's formation, thousands of asteroids have struck our planet, and it's possible that one of them carried microbes that started life on Earth. Some rocks that split up from other planets or moons may contain microbes that were then transferred to Earth. The concept of panspermia is divided into three categories, lithopanspermia or interstellar panspermia, ballistic panspermia or interplanetary panspermia, and directed panspermia. The first two categories suggest that microorganisms may have come to Earth from another star system or within our solar system via an asteroid. Directed panspermia is the idea that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations intentionally spread the seeds of life to other planets. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. Another theory is the theory of the electric spark, or primordial soup, which proposes that the first biomolecules may have formed due to lightning. There are two versions of this theory. One suggests that the first form of life came into existence following a single spark or on one specific spark day while the other version holds that the first life on Earth may have been caused by continuous lightning over millions of years. In 1952, chemists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey recreated the conditions of the early Earth in a laboratory and showed that it was possible to generate organic molecules, the building blocks of life, from inorganic materials. They used a mixture of gases that were believed to be present in the early atmosphere, such as methane, ammonia, and water vapor. They also used an electric spark to simulate lightning, which provided the energy needed to drive the chemical reactions. Over time, the experiment produced amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins and other organic molecules that are essential for life. Although research has shown that the early atmosphere of Earth was hydrogen poor, scientists suggest that volcanic clouds in the early atmosphere might have held methane, ammonia, and hydrogen leading to the formation of complex molecules and the eventual emergence of the first living organism. This theory presents many possibilities for understanding the origin of life on Earth. The deep sea vent theory proposes that the initial life on Earth might have emerged from the ocean's depths where biomolecules formed without the presence of sunlight. There are vents deep beneath the Earth's ocean where seawater interacts with minerals from the Earth's crust. These vents emit black smoke, which results from the reaction between hot minerals and the vent. Here, hot gas and cold seawater combine to form a water and alkaline environment with hydrogen. This process creates mineral-rich chimneys with alkaline and acidic fluids, providing an energy source that enables chemical reactions between carbon dioxide and hydrogen to form increasingly complex organic compounds. Scientists believe that protocells, which may have led to the formation of cells, could have emerged during this process and experiments have supported this notion. The heat, alkalinity, and salt present in the environment appear to have facilitated protocell formation. However, scientists have not yet created a functional protocell in the laboratory. 
Despite some limitations, this theory cannot be entirely dismissed. But what if life on Earth actually originated from ice? This is the idea behind the chilly start theory, which suggests that approximately 3 billion years ago, ice covered the oceans with a thickness of 100 feet due to the sun being three times less luminous than it is now. According to this theory, repeated cycles of freezing and thawing could have accelerated the chemical reactions required for life. Although liquid water is essential for life as we know it, small amounts of liquid can exist even at temperatures as low as negative 60 Fahrenheit or negative 51 Celsius. Scientists speculate that within ancient ice, microscopic pockets of water might have gathered simple molecules that assembled into longer and more complex chains, laying the foundation for life. They also believe that life could have emerged inside layers of ice hundreds of feet thick, shielding fragile organic compounds in the water below from ultraviolet radiation and cosmic impacts. This theory supports the idea that organisms evolved from water to land, but it also has several limitations. Have you heard of the clay theory? It's a fascinating idea proposed by a chemist named Alexander Graham Karen Smith. He suggests that the first building blocks for life might have originated from clay. How cool is that? When you take a closer look at clay under a microscope, you'll see miniature crystals with atoms arranged in a pattern that repeats in a tight and condensed formation. And get this, these crystals can split apart to create daughter crystals that inherit their unique characteristics. This process is similar to genetic mutation, which creates new traits in living organisms. The theory goes that biological molecules eventually took over this process and organized themselves. While experiments to prove this theory have failed so far, it's still an exciting idea to consider. Who knows, maybe the answer to the origins of life has been right under our noses all along. Let me introduce you to this simple beginning theory, which proposes that the origins of life were much more straightforward than previously thought. Rather than requiring complex and highly specific molecules, this theory suggests that the first steps towards life were taken with simpler, more easily assembled molecules interacting with each other. The idea is that these basic building blocks would have formed cycles of reactions that gradually led to the formation of more complex structures, including simple cell membranes. Over time, this process would have allowed for the evolution of increasingly complex cells and molecules, ultimately leading to the diverse range of life we see on Earth today. While this theory may seem counterintuitive, it offers an intriguing alternative to other, more complex explanations for the origins of life. Have you heard of the Big Bang Theory? The Big Bang Theory is a scientific explanation of the origin of the universe. It states that the universe began as a single point and expanded rapidly, eventually giving rise to the all matter and energy we see today. But here's the thing, the Big Bang Theory doesn't really explain why the universe started in the first place. The theory of God's creation has been around for centuries and is still believed by most people worldwide. This theory proposes that a divine being or force created the universe and everything in it. Although science has been unable to confirm this theory, many people find comfort and meaning in the belief that they are part of a larger plan. But here's where it gets interesting. Some people actually think that God might be responsible for the Big Bang. They see God as this universal force that's beyond our understanding, and maybe that's what caused the universe to start expanding in the first place. But get this, just because someone believes in God's creation doesn't mean they can't also believe in scientific theories like the Big Bang. In fact, many religious people believe that God created the universe through natural processes and that science can help us understand the mechanisms by which this occurred. So there you have it. Whether you think the universe started with a Big Bang or a divine force, both ideas can coexist and help us understand the amazing world we live in. These are just a few of the many theories that scientists have proposed over the years, and the truth is that we may never know for sure how life on Earth truly began. But the quest to uncover the origins of life continues. Scientists are still conducting experiments and studying the latest evidence to piece together this ancient puzzle. As we learn more about the universe and the conditions that led to the emergence of life on Earth, we may one day discover the true story of our origins. So there you have it, some of the most fascinating theories about the origin of life on Earth. Which one do you find the most compelling? 
let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about the universe. Thanks for watching.